Don't touch God's people. Ezekiel 26, verse 1 through 6. In the eleventh year of exile, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me. He said, Son of man, Tyre said bad things about Jerusalem. Hooray! The city gate protecting the people is destroyed. The city gate is open for me. The city of Jerusalem is ruined so I can get plenty of valuable things out of it. So the Lord God says, I am against you, Tyre. I will bring many nations to fight against you. They will come again and again like waves on the beach. The enemy soldiers will destroy the walls of Tyre and pull down her towers. I will also scrape the topsoil from her land. I will make Tyre a bare rock. Tyre will become a place by the sea for spreading fishing nets. I have spoken, the Lord God says. Tyre will be like the valuable things soldiers take in war. Her daughters on the mainland will be killed in battle. They will know that I am the Lord. Heavenly Father, purify our hearts so our intentions can be acceptable in your sight. We've read in Ezekiel where you punished Jerusalem for their failure to adhere to your commands after many warnings. Although you destroyed them, you took no pleasure in the execution of their judgment. Yet it gives no one the right to take advantage of them while they are down, even if they deserved it. Let us be mindful that we're all responsible for making good decisions. We are not to oppress others, especially when they're facing distress or destruction. Your word says you chasten those you love, so we cannot hurt those who you've chastened. Your word shows us your promise to destroy the city of Tyre for taking advantage of the destruction of Jerusalem. Purify our hearts and guide us to the path that leads us to you. In Jesus' name, amen.